Welcome to the Lotus Goddess Divine Love. Hi everyone, how's everyone doing today? Hope you're doing well and staying safe. Welcome back everyone. Welcome if you're new to my channel. I do Divine Mask and Divine Feminine Twin Flame Journey Charm meetings. And let's begin and just keep in mind that this is a general reading. Let's see what messages comes through. In this reading, I see that there is a Divine Feminine who is already in this new cycle, like new energy, starting new. Everything is, it's like the decisions that this Divine Feminine made has a lot to do with wanting to have a new start. Um, it's like um, refresh, like a new beginning. I see here that Divine Feminine in this reading is deciding, making a decision about something that has to do with this new beginning. Um, they are putting a lot of thought into whatever this is. It looks like it's a decision. It's a choice between two things. Some of these divine feminines may have openly discussed this. I feel like it's a plan, some sort of new plan go with a close loved one so family member shows family here divine feminine in this reading it shows that divine feminine feels a very strong bond with divine masculine this decision that they are this choice that they're trying to make somehow it is connected to divine masculine I. Uh, it shows something about wanting to start a new, something new. Deciding which direction to go. Asking family members what they may think about this. And at the same time, it does connect somehow to masculine. And I feel this connection may be because of another family member. In this reading, it shows that Divine Feminine right now, at this moment, when it comes to making this decision, they're thinking about it from a place of analyzing intellect. Um, it shows here that intuition is not at play here at this time. So they are not using their intuition. They are using their intellect, what, they're, what they think, what they think is best, what they, what they believe should be on the right decision based on this, this, and this. It's like, what are my options? What What is the best decision for not only for me, but for those who are, who I am surrounded by? So maybe close family members, friends, looking at the overall situation. So it's analytic. It's analytical. This shows here using the mind. So thoughts, um, planning, strategizing, that sort of thing shows intuition is not being used at this time. It's the divine feminine in this reading is focused on intellect, what they know, thought, understanding, that sort of thing. So shows here that divine feminine is focusing on their own self. It's, it shows something about focusing on strength, holding onto their strength, continuing to grow stronger, becoming more wiser. Um, the reason why intuition is not, not being shown here is shows something about Divine Feminine wanting to focus on logic, what is logical, and not want to bring any emotions, meaning that intuitive feelings that are connected to love, 
with the divine masculine. It's like I don't want my feelings for divine masculine to get in the way of my decision making. That's what it is. I don't want that in inner um that inner feeling or or that I feel like whether it's a longing or or drive or that a pull of the divine masculine that intuitive uh feeling to get in the way of what my mind is telling me to do. It's like what my mind is saying um that this is the best thing like don't listen to the heart, listen to the mind because the heart has distracted me. That's what I feel. So I see here also about divine feminine turning away from that that um intuitive that um that love that intensity of love for divine masculine and focusing more on on intellect is it the right decision it it doesn't say it just shows that it's not going to resonate for all but this is what is showing for some some have pushed away their emotions their feelings for divine masculine let me put that feeling aside and let me make decision based on what i feel is is right what i feel is is the right decision to to make based on this this and this they are analyzing they're using thought they're using their intellect their knowledge their i and i feel knowledge from what they know what they learn and they're they're very smart divine feminine you are you are very wise in this reading and you just don't want your emotions to get in the way of making you don't want your emotions to to it feels like i don't want my feelings my love for divine masculine to um to make me make the wrong decision that's what it is so i rather put my emotions aside even that intuitive knowing it shows here intuition is being pushed aside here and they are going with intellect because they feel that their emotions their feelings for divine masculine may get in the way of them making the right decision that's what this divine feminine is thinking shows here but then again we have to think about intuition is important part of us as well right that's where we have the balance but this divine feminine has chosen it shows here making wanting to make a decision between two things but at the same time they've chosen to put their feelings their intuition on on the side it's like push it away and just focus on this is a fact this is what is evident i just want facts i just want evidence i just want what is feel like tangible truth tangible something in in the 3D i want something that will prove that will prove that this is this if i do a b and c i will achieve d that kind of thing it's like i don't want to take a chance with my my intuition because in the past i misunderstood that that inner knowing and i made the wrong decision that's what i feel divine feminine this this feels like somebody who when it came to their inner gut that inner knowing they they feel that they made a wrong decision in the past thinking that they mistaken their emotions for for intuition it's like they didn't they didn't um understand the difference between their feelings for divine masculine and the gut feelings of intuition they mistaken the mis- the decisions that they made in the past as intuition it's like okay that didn't work out my relationship my connection with divine masculine didn't work out that means my intuition was off but no those are two separate things the feelings for divine masculine that unconditional love is separate from the intuition intuition meaning your connection with the divine so this divine feminine is connecting those two meaning their feelings for divine masculine equals intuition which is 
incorrect because those are two separate things. So because of that, it's showing here that now that this Divine Feminine knows that I need to make an important dis decision here. I've, I have a choice between two things and I have to work off of my mind, my my intellect and put intuition aside. But thinking that intuition is connected to the feelings for Divine Masculine, but intuition is actually that inner knowing that is connected to the Divine. Okay, so this is somebody who is, if I feel is a little bit confused about their decision making because they feel that uh, intuition can be wrong, but intuition is always there. It's with everybody. Having the conscious awareness of what that intuition is guiding you to do or, or is providing to you the information it's providing to you, that that requires a lot of i feel like practice it's like a muscle you're practicing to work at it so it becomes more stronger right more stronger more um with ease right it's like say if you go for a workout first day of workout right your muscles are going to obviously feel some sort of tiredness or something on the first day but over time if you are you know in that that routine your body gets adapted to it right your muscles start to become more stronger more adaptable to the routine so same with intuition when you become more consciously aware and work at your intuition right pay pay close attention to it work at it just like anything in life, right, it will start to become more stronger, you will become more aware, more alert. And this divine feminine has confused that their emotions for divine masculine equals intuition. And because that didn't work, I should put my intuition aside and just focus on logic. So that's what I see here. So moving on in the reading. This Divine Masculine is really, um, in this reading, it shows this Divine Masculine is going through a huge transformation. This is somebody who is in a very deep sadness. It shows here very deep sadness because they have not evolved yet to where they need to be. There is a kind of like an immature energy in this reading for this Divine Masculine meaning that he is not really, really open to the transformation, not really focused on it. And when he, he is faced with the truth, faced with this new, I feel this new energy, this new way of living, this mask is like, this is something that is beyond me. This is something that is different. And there's a little bit of a confusion here, not really knowing what it is, but recognizing that it's something. It's like, this is something new to me. This energy feels new. This, this thought, and I feel the divine is, is giving some sort of, um, it feels like downloads to this divine masculine because it shows here as well that this divine masculine is being faced with things that are of the divine knowledge information to get a better understanding it's like in the face of divine masculine but divine masculine because he is in that sadness energy and is not fully matured meaning um, spiritually mature to understand or be open to this sort of change or transformation it's it's a little bit like the unknown is confusing for this Divine Masculine here. It shows something about it is important for this Divine Masculine to restore balance within his third eye chakra, intuition, seeing things from a different perspective, being connected 
to the divine, having more clarity. Some cases, this divine masculine, he's not really good at um, visualizing, like imagination. Um, so I, if, I feel something like, you know, the with manifestation, visualizing, um, imagination, those things are important to make things more real, to bring it into, to manifest it, right? To bring it into fruition, to bring it into reality. This mask is not used to, used to that. This is somebody who cannot really imagine details. Like if this divine mask had a goal to achieve something specifically, it's not that easy for this masculine to visualize the details of it. It's like, say, for example, he wanted a specific car. It's like, oh, I always wanted this kind of, this brand name, this kind of car. But to visualize it, like the color, the look of it, um, you know, the handle, the door handles, the, the rear view mirror, like to see details of it, this masculine is not used to visualizing details. It's just like, I want this and I hope I can achieve this. I hope I can get it someday. He is not really, not really um, put it into, to, I feel like, like in a routine, like he hasn't put it into practice that let me try to really see see the details of what I what I want to achieve in my life. There's a difference between saying that one day I want to achieve this, right? And then someone else actually visualizing it and maybe even writing it down detail, you know, putting it in, in thought thinking about that this is what exactly what I want. But usually when you when you imagine certain things and they do manifest, they turn out, you know, like 100 times better than what you've imagined. It's like, yes, you may have imagined like on a shiny red car, but the details of it, when you imagine the details of it, when it actually manifests, it's much more, much more vibrant, much more beautiful than what you can imagine. I'm just using it car as an example, but whatever it may be that you desire, right? Your heart's desire. For those of you who have seen things manifest, I've seen many things manifest. So, and it's beautiful. You can start off with something small and then it's, Gradually, over time, you see things manifest in bigger scale. Just like that muscle I mentioned before, it's like working at your intuition. This divine mask, I feel like there is some sort of mirroring going on here. Because this divine masculine shows here that needing to um, restore balance in third eye chakra, right? Intuition. Seeing things from different perspectives, being consciously aware that there is there is a lot more beyond the 3D. In this reading, it shows a lot of uh, the divine masculine, when it comes to dreams, things not working out, trying to fulfill some sort of goal dream I feel not only for self but for others as well not working out it shows here um, even uh, commitment relationship marriage things not working out constantly things just not working out and this masculine feeling sad about why why is it that when I want to move towards something or move in a specific direction, why does it end before it start? Basically, in this reading, it's just showing a lot of divine masculine trying to restore balance, trying to 
transform his life because where he's at at this time, he is not happy with where he is at and how things how things um turned out because this divine masculine is disappointed in love, disappointed in dreams not coming true, disappointed in things not transforming, not building, not growing, uh, disappointed in um, relationships, connections, disappointed in people being uh, dishonest, disappointed in trying to plan some big, big adventurous things, but they're not working out. Some of them wanted to plan uh, trips. Some of them wanted to plan um, purchases, major purchases didn't work out. Um, yeah, there's a lot of uh, things that it shows here that whatever this divine masculine tried to do, he was very unsuccessful, unlucky. So this is a reading for today. Um, I hope you like this reading. If you like my readings, please subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment below. And thank you all for watching. Have a great day. Bye, everyone.